In today's video, we're opening not one, but two 2006 Yu-Gi-Oh! tins. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, we have Raphael, Lord of Phantasms, as well as the Cyber Dragon, both 2006 Yu-Gi-Oh! tins to be opened in this video. You may recognize these from the background of my videos. They're being opened up for Robert F, who is a member of the channel. Robert F has been a really awesome supporter of the channel, so shout out to him in the comments. He wanted these opened up and I asked him, do you want me to say anything? And he said, just shout out yourself, keep up the awesome content. So I really appreciate him supporting for so long. I wanna shout out Robert F though, because he's a legend. We're gonna open these up in this video. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Graceful Dice, Game Promo, we have the Skull Dice, and Negate Attack, all original old school game promos. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what you think about Robert F. Make sure it's awesome because he's a legend. And second of all, what do you want to see in these tins? All right, I don't know which one to start with. So instead of starting with one at all, I'm going to open up a Ghost from the Past one pack just because you guys know, based on recent videos, I've been trying to get that Dark Magician again. I never graded one in PSA 10. So it, first of all, it'd be great to pull one. Second of all, if we could grade one, it'd be insane. Hierotic Seal, we have Starry Night. We're just going to start off with a little Icebreaker here. Let's get a little Ghost Breaker. Uh, that means nothing, but <laughs> here we go. Oh, that's not a bad Ghost Breaker, whatever the heck that means. Evenly matched, not as pricey as it used to be, but still a very solid value card and a great way to start this video. All right, now I have to choose which one to open first. I'm going to go with Raviel because I think I like Cyber Dragon just a little, little bit more. Not too much because Raviel is pretty awesome. Uh, before we do it, let's just check it out real quick. 2006 Collectibles, and this is a first launch, I believe. Yeah, so Neo, Cyber Dragon, and Raviel, the three I had in the background were all first wave. We opened Neos the other day. If you guys missed that, go check it out. Today, we're opening the other two first wave, which means we get uh, the same pack. Wait, does it tell us the packs? Yeah, okay, two CRV, one Elements of Energy, one Shadow of Infinity, Enemy of Justice. For some reason, I thought this was going to be the second wave, and it wasn't. It was just telling us what's in the in the, uh, the tin, I should say. So let's open this thing up. Cut it open, the pain! Let's see if this promo will be minty. That's what we want, first of all, for Robert. Maybe he can get a really nice promo. Let's see. Robert, let's see what we got Yeah, The Robert L. If <laughs> two ads name is it Robert L. It's close, Robert F. Uh, Robert L, Lord of Phantasms, would be very perfect. Okay, we have the back. Oh, that looks good. Wow, that looks pretty solid overall. Okay, maybe a corner issue. Sometimes that can happen with these. A very slight corner issue. Overall, looks pretty solid in terms of condition. Compared to those 2003 tens though and stuff like that, this is immaculate. Okay, let's open this thing up. Let's see about the packs. Make sure everything, nothing weird. We didn't get any first editions randomly or extra packs like when we did a long time ago in that Dark Magician Girl sealed tin. You guys remember that? That was insane. That was an OG Ruxin moment for sure. Okay, we're even though we only have one, we're gonna start it off with Enemy of Justice because these are just all too amazing. Enemy of Justice is fine and everything, but those others are, I mean, they're all pretty incredible sets. Let's open this up and see what we can get out of EOJ. One, two, three, four from the back. Can we get an ultimate rare? Last time we opened one of these tins, we did get pretty lucky with the pulls. Shattered Axe, we have E, Emergency Call. The Cyber Gymnast. Elemental Hero, Mariner. Not the Seattle ones. Heated Heart. Destiny Hero, Captain Tenacious. We have the Elemental Recharge. Layard, the Liberator. I always want to say Lanyard. I'm looking at that. And finally, we have... Destiny hero, diamond dude, different hero. Oh my goodness, an ultimate rare diamond dude. So much for hating on elemental inner. What is he called? Enemy of justice, not elemental energy. Different set. That's one of the best retail pulls you can get out of this set. That is insane. Robert, let's go, dude. Congrats on the huge pull. That is beautiful. Look at how that texture. Wow. Wow, this looks amazing. Usually we don't get the crazy textured ones in the in North America, but this one looks pretty amazing on the, oh wow. That is a really, really good pull. I have no idea the actual value of it, but I will say that is a beautiful looking card. Unfortunately, I messed it up. It's an elemental hero. It's a destiny hero. Sorry, all you destiny hero fans. I did not mean to offend you. Okay, I'm feeling lucky now. I'm bringing in my own pack. Ghost from the past one, baby. Robert, you are about to bless me with some luck, right? That's what's gonna happen. Let's see. I mean, I blessed you with luck. You blessed me with luck in the same way. So let's see if we can both benefit here with this ghost rare from the luck. Here we go. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine, it's okay. I'm okay with Robert F doing better than me. All right, CRV, that is insane. Now let's just pull a real elemental hero. Not saying Destiny Hero is not a real elemental hero, I just wanna get it right. The Bubble Man, come on. 
Come on. Am I hating on the Destiny heroes a little bit by accident? Probably. All right. If we get a Bubble Man or Retail Ulti, dude, this would be the best tin of all time. That would be absurd. One, two, three, four. I've opened so many tins, and that might be one of the best pulls we've ever had in terms of just like classic cards. Uh, anime relevant stuff. We have a Drillroid, Cyber Archfiend, Patroid. Wow, that was hype. Giant Kazaki, Arrival appears, Fusion Recovery. We have a Gyroid. Oh, different. I thought there was one more. Different Dimension Master. Okay, we still have one more CRV though, so there's still hope. All right, back to my luck. I'm gonna throw in another Ghost from the past just because I want to pull the Ghost Rare. We pulled an amazing pull already. Update Jammer, Heos Anaru. Cosmo Dark Lady, and we have a <laughs> High Riding Sky Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Gonna get a little deep breath in for that one because that is pretty tough. All right, I'm gonna try Elemental Energy because this one is gonna have a Sacred Beast for the first time ever. I have a good feeling. Elemental Energy, there's a lot of good retail Ultimate Rares in here. A lot of good ones. Like this set has some very solid stuff. So I can't, I can't pull them off the top of my head though. What are the best ones? I'm trying to think. I just remember this set, just like almost every Ultimate Rare is really good. There's some uh, Dark Worlds in here, like Silva's in here. Also, we have Featherwind. Just show us an amazing one right here. V Tiger Jet, we have Gateway to Dark World. Reborn Zombie, Oxy Get On, Familiar Possessed Area, Ojo Muscle. Is this it? Jack's Knight, oh, all the Knights. Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight. Those are all really good. All right, back-to-back -back rares, but we started off so good. Robert F., I mean, that is just amazing. I guess I'm gonna go for the Sacred Beast. We have never pulled one. Ultimate Rare, Ultra Rare, First Dead, Unlimited, none of them, none of the versions. There's so many different versions in this one pack, and we have never had the luck. There's four Ultras in the set. We have managed to pull the one Ultra that's not a Sacred Beast like four different times, one, two, three, four, maybe now we can finally do it. I don't care if it's an ultra. And, I mean, I don't think you even, even get an ulti in a retail pack, but who knows? I'd love to be surprised. We have Bubble Man. Parasite take you. The unlimbs are weird. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Miracle Kids. Hero Kid. Didn't we just pull that? No, we didn't. Okay. Beal Strong. Saber Beetle with a lightsaber on the beetle. The Salvo of Fullness. Magnet Circle level two. I think the next one is potentially an ultimate rare. Here we go. Oh, memory crusher. Oh, crushing our memory of the destiny hero. I'm going to try another ghost from the past before we get into that cybernetic revolution pack. I'm super hyped for it. Hopefully we can get, if we can get two ultis in one 10, I don't remember the last time I did that. That's really hard to do. Terra of Trishula, one in a 10 is hard enough. We have recover. There you go, Alakazam. We have molten conduction field and it's always exceeds double bail, double barrel, I should say, is in every single pack, basically. All right, it's been a good Robbie L10. Cybernetic Revolution. Come on, baby. Let's get that bubble, man. Let's go crazy. That would be insane. Like the CRV, I mean, the uh, Cyber Dragon 10 could just chill out at that point. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have the Jetroid. Very nice. Spiritual Water Art. Aoi. Soitsu. Hey, buddy. Conscription. Arrival appears. Spiritual Wind Art. Miyabi. Steamroid. Okay, are we there? Are we there? No, we have one more card. Death Frog. And finally, will this be an ultimate rare? I'm looking for the Bubble Man. There's some other good ones in CRV as well. I think Miracle Fusion. But let's see what we can get. Oh, Fire Darts. Okay, so we started off with the absolute best pack and four rares in a row after that. But we still have another 10. Honestly, still an amazing 10 with a great looking promo and an awesome ultimate rare. All right, Robert. That was great luck. Let's see if we can continue the luck in here with CRV. I, I keep calling it CRV, but I, there is CRV in here. But Cyber Dragon, just the regular Cyber Dragon 10. Hopefully this promo is minty. It looks like this has a little, I should just be able to pull this thing. Okay, that didn't work so well. Here we go. Let's, let's get it open like this. All right, perfect. No knife necessary. All right, open it up. Very cool. Let's see what we can get. Cyber Dragon. Can we pull a PSA 10 promo? Let's see. Cyber Dragon looking nice. All right, we have a, wow, really good looking Cyber Dragon corner. There, that's usually the problem. A little small, uh, like not quite a dent, more like a nick on that corner, unfortunately. Looks a lot like the Raviel. I mean, other than that, very, very clean card. Centering's pretty bad on that card, so probably not one to grade, but still a beautiful binder copy for sure. Okay, rest of the way. We didn't check out the pocket guide earlier. What were we thinking? No pocket guide. We got Power of the Duelist coming out soon. Who's gonna collect it? Oh, the Neo Stand, we've opened that. Uh, I don't know if we've opened that structure deck. We don't really do structure decks. CRV or C 
DIP, I should say. I just want to say cybernetic revolution so bad right now. Maybe that's a sign. Something good's coming. Really cool stuff on here. Talking about your favorite fusions, favorite spells and everything. All right, we have two CRV packs. We have an elemental energy, Shadow of Infinity, and then the legendary Enemy of Justice. We're going to try that strategy again and start with Enemy of Justice because last time it went crazy. If we get two ultimate rares, Enemy of Justice has redeemed itself as the greatest pack of all time. Even after all of our crap, the Shining Phoenix Enforcer, it will still be up there. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Gotta believe in the ulti. We have Senku. Destiny Signal. We are calling for the Destiny Hero, Diamond Dude, but we already called for him. Let's call for another Destiny Hero, Battery Man D. Dude, is there any other retail ones? I don't know. Emergency Call. There's definitely some in the uh, foil slots. Also, we got Macrocosmos. Wow, that card got jacked. Unfortunately, just a common. Macrocosmos used to be money. Had some reprints. Or at least coming up, I should say. Oversoul. Guard Dog. Okay, I think we're on the next one. This could be an ultimate rare. Can we go back to back with Enemy of Justice? Here we go. No, we got a pure purple light. Herald of the Purple Light. Not pure light. Very nice card. Wait. What is that? Ugh. Okay, it came off. Interesting. It's like gunk. Ew. I don't know what that is. That pack had some serious issues, but I guess... At least it was this pack and not the ultimate rare pack that that was on. Okay, let's try another ghost from the past one, baby. Let's see what we can do. We have Roka, Sunbind Healer, Time Thief Startup. We have the Sunseed Twin. Here we go. Ghost right here. Just to, you know, spread out the monotony of too many ultimate rares and everything. Let's get a ghost. All right. We haven't got a ghost out of there in so long. All right, CRV, because we do have two of them. Bubble Man. I keep wanting to say CRV. So maybe that means one of these packs is gonna be fire. One, two, three, four. Could have a Cyber and Dragon, Cyber Dragon as well. Those would be crazy. Battery Man C. We have Spiritual Earth Art Kulagane. Cybernetic Cyclopean. Shien Spy. Gyroid. Mechanical Hound. The Death Cloaking. Doitsu. He is riding or is he eating? He might be eating out of a sushi box over there. And we have. Is no miracle fusion this time. Transcendent Wing is also a really cool retail ulti. All right, Elemental Energy. This is the order we went last time. We are 0 for in this 10. We have one total foil pull besides the promos, and it was a really awesome ultimate rare. Let's see if we can get at least one more. Foil in general, and then if it was an ulti, it'd be great. One, two, three, four. Elemental Energy, I believe in you. A Toil Cyber. I've never know how to say that. I don't know how to say that. Branch. Gateway to the Dark World. The rollout. Watch out for the milk tank, everybody. VW Tiger Catapult. Bonding. H2O Bastion. Scar. Scout of Dark World. We have a Reborn Zombie. And finally, we have... <sighs> Send the luck, guys. In the comments. Here we go. Send Robert some luck. Oh, a Chthonian Alliance. No! Okay, that's a lot. That's like seven in a row without a foil. That's okay. We are saving it for the last two. This sacred beast. How, how many videos am I going to have of me going a sacred beast and then not pulling it until we actually pull it? It's got to happen eventually, right? If we just keep opening Shadow, Shadow Infinity packs, eventually we might pull one. Oh, uh, you would think one, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Parasite Tiki. Malice Ascendant. Photon generator unit. Come on, Robert. Let's get something crazy. Death Frog, send some luck in the comments for Robert. We need something crazy. Machine King prototype. Super Junior confrontation. Little Super Smash Bros. Saber Beetle. We have Magnet Circle level two. <sighs> Sacred Beast. Hear my cry. Here we go. It's a Karma Cut. Another great retail ulti, but unfortunately just the rare this time. All right, my last ghost from the past one pack and Robert's last pack after this. So we definitely slowed down. I mean, it was a very hot start, the very first pack. And since then it has slowed to a halt. We are, we hit the emergency break. It's been bad. Resonator engine. We have the hieratic seal of convocation and Okay, Dragoonity Knight, great. I went, oh, well, actually I did get it evenly matched on my first pack too. Okay, last pack. Uh, hopefully Robert F can beat me. You know, he already beat me with the Diamond Dude, but I'm just saying like, you know, his last pack, mine was a dud. Hish, hopefully is not a dud. CRV, Cybernetic Revolution. I've been wanting to say you all day because there's something crazy in here, right? Cyber Dragon 10, let's go. We need some luck, guys. Give us an ulti or a cyber dragon of some kind. We have Pot of Generosity. Let's go. Last pack. Robert F. Shout him out in the comments. Send him some luck. Shan Spy. We have Steam Gyroid. Spiritual Water Art. AOA. Arrival appears. Protective Soul. Aelin. We have Giant Kozaki. He's gigantic and he's Kozaki. Indomitable Fighter Lele and our final card of the opening. It's been fun. It's been awesome. Started amazing. We've definitely gone downhill, but we can finish it off on an awesome note right here. Here we go. 
DD Trap Hole, these tins can be unkind. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to shout out Robert F. in the comments. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doidster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.